What's going on, superstar? How you doing? Thanks so much for taking the time to check out this video. I really appreciate it. and super duper pumped to um, be sharing with you another episode of um, Full Day of Eating. This is my fourth episode, I believe. The last one that I did um, was live from Thailand, which included some buffet breakfast action. Um, as you'll see by the clip going by just now, it was lots of fun. Um, involved all sorts of different eating, um, buffet breakfast in the morning, um, some cool snacks during the day, and then an awesome, um, you know, one of those side restaurant type joints. I think it was a plant stuff restaurant. That was really cool to eat there. But um, today is a, uh, is a good day, really excited as well because um, I'm going to be getting an addition to my left arm full sleeve. So um, as you can see here, um, not sure how the lighting is because of how bright it is just now and I've got sunnies on, but um, I've, uh, I've got an aerial um, as part of my first part of my sleeve um, and I'm going to be getting some more additions to it over the coming weeks and one of them is going to be today. So I'm going to be in the tat shop from um, 10 to 6, so I've got a, uh, a few supplies in my backpack and uh, I'll be taking you through everything that I'll be eating. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get some footage as well of the ink being done itself, so that should be pretty cool. And um, yeah, just proving that the flexible lifestyle can cater for literally anything you've got going on. So I thought it'd be a cool day to do it today. The sun's shining here in Perth, so um, you yeah, know, really grateful to be alive. Um, I'm gonna be cruising into the city to, um, to get it done today. Um, because trying to get a park um, in this neck of the woods where I'm going to be going to, which is in Northbridge, is a bit of a mission. Um, plus, it costs a fortune as well. I think it's like 20 to 30 bucks a day, um, you know, to find a park. Unless obviously you live there, well, then that's a different scenario. But I'm um, going to be getting a, uh, a lift from Old Mate Bus Driver, so I'm walking over to the bus stop now, um, and the time is 9:02 in the uh, in the morning. So um, I have actually done a workout this morning, did a nice push workout given that when it comes to this ink um, you know, being done and then healing, I'm not gonna be able to do any upper body work. It's gonna be pretty much all lower body until it heals and all the scabbing stage and stuff is finished. Um, so I thought I'd do an upper body workout. It was lots of fun, haven't eaten either. Um, I'm gonna be fasting until uh, whenever I get to eat next. Um, so I'll likely be buying some food and um, yeah, it's gonna be the plan. So I've rocked up to the uh, to the bus stop. Not sure how bus stops look in, you, in your neck of the woods, wherever you're tuning in from, but this is how they uh, look in good old Perth. So for some bus stops, you actually get a cool shade like this. So that's pretty cool. Um, they actually have some timetables here. So this is the, hang on a tick, yeah, there you go. 911, 362, this is one that I'm gonna be catching. And um, yeah going to take us directly into the city. So um, I'm going to be cruising along. I'll show you some snippets of footage and um, yeah, hopefully get to get some footage from the actual ink place itself as well. Okay. Booyah. Radio guys, so my lovely bus, for some reason, since I last took that one, the 362, um, it doesn't actually stop in the um, at the same stop that it did last time, which was obviously right around the corner from um, where the ink place is. So this means that I am going to be rocking out some uh, unplanned cardio gains. So lucky enough, I know where it is. I basically just got to walk up this road um, straight for a little while go past this park, whatever the park is called, and then um, from there, uh, I take a right turn, I believe, and then um, a left, and then Bob's your uncle, we should be there. But um, hey, if it turns out that I get lost, happy days for Google Maps, hey? Um, means that I can then wham it in and uh, find my way, but making good time, it's 9.41, so I've um, got about 19 minutes until session kickoff, so, um, yeah, let's keep walking and make those cardio gains. Just 
Don't look back, we're here to stay A life we knew would come one day And this is it, the borderline To where the future leaves us behind The fire will burn Don't let me get down here 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 And they want to put them back So here we are at good old Subway. Absolutely love Subway. Um, haven't actually had it in Yonks, so had a hankering for it, and therefore I went for it. Um, you'll see here that I went for a foot long wheat with ham, um, no cheese, basically all the salads and um, the lowest calorie dressings that I know that they've got. And the purpose for this was obviously to make sure that I could keep it a fairly low calorie meal, but make sure there's lots of nutrients obviously in it. Um, ate this one fairly fast as well, given how hungry I was. I reckon I could have smashed a good probably three of these foot longs overall fairly easily. But anyway, nonetheless, um, absolutely awesome feed. It was pretty quick for the dude to make it as well. I only had 15 minutes for a break here. Um, I tell you what I said, so I needed to make sure that it was fairly quick that I um, you know, got my shit together basically. And a uh, pro tip here as well is to that, unless you want to pay, I think it's 50 cents or a dollar for beetroot, make sure that you don't because it's not worth it. Um, the last time that I actually did go to Subway, I found out that that was the case. And this time I was all over it. I said that I wanted all salads without beetroot and without avocado because apparently you're going to pay for them, even though they've got them right there without a little sticker or anything to tell you that's the case. But um, here was lunch, um, first meal of the day, absolutely epic, really loved it. Um, yay for Subway! What's going on guys? It's now about six o'clock um, or just after. Finished up my uh, ink session, I'm all strapped up. Um, absolutely awesome, so pumped for it. And um, this is just basically the start of my uh, full sleeve. So first two components are done. So obviously aerial, second component being beast um, for a number of different reasons. Obviously every single part of this tattoo holds significant uh, meaning to myself. I'd never get ink just for the sake of it. But um, yeah, really stoked with how it turned out. Just on the walk back now to my uh, bus stop so I can catch the bus home. Tell you what, really hanging for a feed. Don't know what I'm gonna be making yet. But um, tell you what, protein shakes these days don't seem to fill you up at all. You would have seen the one I had before. That was at about five o'clock, I think, or just before. So you'd think it would fill me up for longer. Nope, <laughs> not at all. But um, super pumped for a feed. Gonna catch the bus home have a shower, clean up, that sort of stuff. So um, I'll catch it when it's tea time when I'm back home, safe and sound. Okay, so I am home. It is now about 7.30. I haven't showered yet, can't be bothered yet. I'm just so hungry, so I'm just gonna get straight stuck into cooking up a nice feed. I showed everyone the new ink, which is looking absolutely boss. 
um, beast with his rose. Look at that, looks absolutely on point. I love it so much. And um, because it's so hot as well, I'm sweating bricks, so I've got to be careful um, about just movement and stuff like that. But um, the family has already had tea, I'm not going to be having it, but they had a nice beast shepherd's pie and um, some lasagna. So um, yeah, I'm not going to be having this because I want to be able to have a decent dessert later on. I'm going to be cooking up some, uh, some kangaroo. These are absolutely awesome, these kebabs, barbecue plum flavor. Got them on special the other day, absolutely boss. So I'm gonna be cooking up two kebabs. They saved me some salad, so I'm gonna be eating all of this and guesstimating quantities in my fitness power, adding some other stuff to it, and then Bob's your uncle. So I'm gonna get straight into cooking this up, and then um, I'll see you over there on the dinner table when we'll get munging away on this epic feed. Okay, so here we have it, it's dinner time. Um, absolutely epic meal this one was. Um, fairly straightforward, very easy to make. I actually, like, this is an example of one of those nights where you literally just can't be fucked cooking. So in this scenario, it was just like, cool, what's the easiest thing that I could make? Um, I was even planning to do like some zucchini spiral pasta, but I wasn't even, you know, in the mode, mood to be able to do that. Like I just wanted to eat and chill with how, you know, mentally and whatever demanding the day was because getting ink is like that you got to really be careful of your mental headspace to make sure that you don't you know lose your shit as you're getting needled so um yeah this tea was really really nice very very nutrient dense obviously really low in calories as well it was basically just kangaroo kebab with um you know a shitload of salad basically the dressing they used to make this really nice was some 100 percent fat free um i think it was balsamic uh, a little bit of apple cider vinegar um you'll see me just adding and um yeah it made for a really nice salad pretty filling as well very voluminous so stuff like this is very very good for while you're cutting or trying to lose body fat um because it means you can make the multiple times throughout the day if you want if you've got the time um or simply just eat it and use it as a meal and therefore you've got more calories left to play with for dessert which is what we'll go on to next Right to yo, so it is currently 8.40 at night. Um, that was an epic feed just before. Really, really nice, high protein, low calorie meal. That whole thing was only like 300 calories, so that was pretty cool. Um, just needed to pop in here to film this part of it. Um, I'm gonna head to the kitchen now and start prepping what I'm gonna have for dessert. But um, the, the rest of the family is in there watching um, Kitchen Nightmares, which I'm super pumped to get stuck into. Absolutely love Gordon Ramsay. So um, I've actually pre-logged that I'm going to be having um, my protein pumpkin brownie cake for dessert. So I've already pre-made that. Um, if you're looking for the recipe, as you're sort of seeing, roll in by here. Um, it's absolutely awesome. Whole thing packs about 50 grams of protein, lots of fiber. Um, and when I make this, it's really, really awesome because it's so filling and it's just a means of adding, adding toppings and stuff to it. So in this case, I've got like 600 calories left to play with. So what I'm probably gonna do is add some PB2 on top to use as icing and then probably some other bits and bobs. So let's go get to it. Ho, 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 yes, the best meal of the day. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so yeah, this one here was basically, um, as you would have seen, it was just me mixing up some PB2. Um, I used, I think it was like nine tablespoons worth of it um, to make like an icing for the actual cake that I made. So this cake, as you would have heard me touch on before, was basically the, um, uh, the one that I use for a recipe, which is like my uh, pumpkin brownie cake. Really, really nice, very macro friendly, packs a heap of protein as well, which is really cool. Um, so basically just topped that with some PB2. Um, and then put on top some M&M cookies. These ones here are on special. They're about 120 calories each. So I was like, yeah, nice, I can fit in four. And then I was like, oh wait, no, I can't. <laughs> um, so you'll see me that I put in 3.8. So I left a little bit behind, gave that to the dog. She was really happy. And um, yeah, this is an absolutely epic, epic dessert. Really, really cool. Uh, if you make this yourself, um, the actual cake itself, I think it only has just over 500 calories. So. You know, you could eat half of it for 250 or just above and be absolutely sorted. It would fill you up quite a lot. Um, if you haven't got as much macros to play with, well then you could probably put a bit less PB2 on top and then maybe some fruit like some strawberries or banana or something like that. But really, really nice. This is a fantastic way to end the day and uh, watching Old Mate Gordon Ramsay at the same time as well. It was, it was absolutely fantastic. Walden Farms as well, really, really cool for, you know, no calorie dressing basically, um, you know, Great for bringing that flavor for no calories. And um, yeah, just an absolutely epic way to end the day. Highly recommend you get amongst it. If you haven't yet, give him my cake a bash.
there we go. The day's intake is done and dusted. Just finished off watching uh, Gordon Ramsay with his Kitchen Nightmares. Seriously, had such an epic show. Um, <laughs> love the lad. But um, as you see going by the screen just now, here's my macros from everything I ate today. Um, absolutely awesome, great food choices. And obviously the purpose here was to show you um, that through flexible dieting and through this lifestyle, you can basically handle anything that life throws your way. So as you would have seen, um, you know, I was under the needle from, oh, well, I rocked up for a 10 o'clock session, didn't start getting inked until like 11.30, and it had finished up at like six-ish or something like that. So I made food choices based on what I was feeling keen for, and my focus was trying to hit overall amount of calories um, as best that I could. Minimum amount of protein, which in this case is 160, um, 25 to 30 grams of fiber, and that's literally it at the moment, especially in the lead up to Christmas, because I want to make sure that you know I can just really just embrace the festive season. So um, thanks so much for tuning in, Superstar. Really appreciate your time. Uh, make sure that if you're a returning subscriber, please give this video a like. Okay, we really appreciate your support. And um, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you press subscribe. That way you can stay tuned for all of my videos each and every week that I pump out to you guys. You'll absolutely love it. And make sure that if you aren't connected with me personally, follow me on social media below. You'll see the links just in the description, okay? As well as a link to my last full day of eating video in Thailand. And um, a link as well to um, the Instagram of my tattoo artist if you want to check him out as well, okay? So have an amazing day. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next video in the Boss Fitness world. See you, superstar.